A Liberal Democrat parliamentary candidate who sparked outrage and death threats when he tweeted a cartoon of Mohammed and Jesus says he didn't feel threatened by the image. My God, he said, is greater than that. More than 20,000 people have now signed a petition calling for Majid Nawaz to be suspended as the party's candidate and tomorrow Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg will meet Muslim leaders to discuss their concerns. Katie Razzle has the details. This is the cartoon that is causing outrage. We've taken the decision to cover up the depiction of Muhammad so we don't cause offence to some viewers. Others find it entirely innocuous, like this student from the London School of Economics. No, I mean, it's just a cartoon, right? The controversy began when Chris Morse and a fellow atheist wore Jesus and Mo t-shirts at a freshers' fair. He showed me some of the cartoons from the satirical strip in which Jesus and Muhammad talked to each other. Five security guards surround us at our stall. They um, asked us um, to uh, cover our t-shirts um, or take them off. And um, after, well, after we refused, they made clear that they were going to physically actually uh, remove us from the freshers' fair. Um, so we uh, complied rightly under protest and uh, covered up the t-shirts. Then came this BBC discussion programme. Student Chris Moore sitting in the front row while other panellists explained why they found the cartoons on his t-shirt offensive. Do they have the right to wear that, those t-shirts? Yes or no? No. no. Oh. Why are you trying to offend a religious no, faith? You are offending no. us. See, the, but Majid Nawaz, a Muslim and the head of the anti-radicalisation think tank Quilliam, disagreed. I do not feel threatened by these gentlemen wearing that t-shirt. David Lamy. Afterwards, Mr Nawaz tweeted out the full cartoon, which the programme hadn't shown in close-up and we have disguised. He said he was sure God wasn't threatened. Mr Nawaz, however, immediately was. He received death threats. He's standing for the Liberal Democrats at the next election and there's a petition signed by 20,000 people demanding they deselect him. This um, petition or the actual situation surrounding Manji Nawaz has very clearly shown again that there's a very extreme faction of um, um, religious reactionaries in Britain who's trying to use the Muslim community um, to um, sow discord. With representatives from dozens of Muslim organisations meeting the Lib Dem leader tomorrow to protest about Mr Nawaz's views on this cartoon, Nick Clegg is under pressure in this growing row about freedom of expression. Katie Russell reporting. Well, joining us now from Manchester, one of Mr Nawaz's main critics, Mohammed Shafiq from the Ramadan Foundation and himself a Lib Dem activist. Are you still a Lib Dem activist, uh, Mohammed Shafiq? Yes, I am, John. I think what we've got to be very clear about is that the cartoon that was uh, tweeted by Majid Nawaz offensive to a number of Muslims, 20,000 have signed a petition. Right, well, that's and what we, we reported, are... but let me just uh, press you on the question of being a Liberal Democrat. If you're a Democrat, why not let democracy judge whether he should be the MP for the constituency he competes for? Well, I think, John, that the behaviour of a parliamentary candidate is very, very important. You cannot go around depicting uh, or tweeting uh, or, or promoting cartoons that are offensive to a number of voters. This is not just about Majid Nawaz's own constituency. This is about Liberal Democrat target seats. It's about Liberal Democrat MPs in Birmingham, in Manchester, in Bradford West, in, uh, in Solihull. Uh, in Bristol uh, West as well there are a number of seats where there's a number of uh, there's a huge number of Muslims and they've been offended and not just right the well tweeting. hold on there because John, uh, because let, let, the Liberal Democrats just, have just John, been John, in touch John, with John, us I, I, John you need to know this I've come on and I really want to make this point let me just let, you make John, one John, point and I'm going to tell you something you need to know before tomorrow okay let me let me just make this point and I promise I'm very happy to respond to any any questions you have on this the point is, it's not just about the tweeting uh, that Majid Nawaz has been involved in. It's the foul language that he's used uh, for people who've challenged him. It's the fact he's brought the Liberal Democrats into disrepute. This is not about freedom of speech. This is about the behaviour of a parliamentary candidate. And that's our concern. And that's why 60 Muslim organisations and individuals wrote to the leader of the Liberal Democrats, Nick Clegg. That's why uh, a number of us will be meeting the leadership tomorrow. Uh, we, we, you know, we're not talking about freedom of speech here. We, nobody's talking about curtailing anybody's freedom no, of speech. OK, well, but we're saying the behaviour of a parliamentary you've candidate that, uh, you've, is very you've important. Made that point. Now, the Liberal Democrats have now told us that this meeting tomorrow is a long-range one that was <laughs> planned long ago, and they do not propose to discuss this matter with you tomorrow. But before we go on, therefore, to question you about that, I want to ask you this. What about the threats against uh, Mr Majid, uh, that he has defamed the Prophet? you know where that leads in Pakistan? Death. 
Well, I've been very clear throughout this whole episode to have condemned any violence towards Majid Nawaz. Uh, I'm somebody who's uh, been subjected to death threats from Al-Shabaab and Al-Qaeda Al in the last few months. I know what it's like to live under a death threat, and I would never wish that on anybody, no matter how, um, how opposed I am to their views. I was very clear uh, in that uh, we condemn any violence. You know, in the last 12 days, uh, I've had racist abuse. I've had anti-Muslim hatred toward, directed towards me. I've had death threats towards me. But, you know, in the end, we've got to be uh, responsible enough to say that we have a political party uh, whose part Parliamentary candidate is upset okay, a number fine. of Muslims in this okay, country. Okay, fine. But you That's have a political party us. of which you are a member. It's called the Liberal Democrat Party. And most secular viewers looking in will say, this sounds neither liberal nor democratic. What on earth are you doing in this party if you find it so offensive? Muslims in this country who have found uh, Majid Nawaz's behaviour offensive have a right to use their democratic right uh, to make their views known to the and Liberal Democrats. To, they have a right to, to a petition. who are you to speak on behalf of all these uh, Muslims? Who elected you? Who elected uh, Majid Nawaz, for that matter? We're, you, know, we, you know, this is... No, this who is elected part of you? That was the question I campaign. asked you. Don't ask another is, question in return. Who did elect you is, to represent 20,000 Muslim complainants? John. Well, I think, I think if you ask those 20,000 Muslims, they say I'll, I'm speaking on their behalf. And all the feedback I've had from many people in the Muslim community suggests they support my viewpoint. I'm articulating something which is very, very important for us Muslims. We find the depictions of our Prophet offensive uh, and forbidden Islam. And, you know, this issue can be resolved uh, in a responsible way by Majid Nawaz recognising his mistakes, to apologise. Well, what and about the Liberal Mr Democrats Nawaz's point? Investigating, what about Mr uh, the Nawaz's Liberal Democrats point? Investigating, the... uh, investigating these complaints in well, a way uh, that brings closer to this issue. What about Mr Nawaz's point that his God is a lot greater than some being that would be remotely offended by anything like this? He's got much bigger things to contend with than that. Majid Nawaz has got the right to say that. I've got the right to challenge him about what he's done, as have Muslims. I've got, I've got the right to do that. You know, this is not then just as we about live in a democracy, why this not, is not let the is, ballot is, box decide it? Is, why not let the ballot box decide well, it? That's where we began, this is and not you've a, not answered that satisfactorily. This... John, is not about uh, freedom of speech. This is about the behaviour of a parliamentary candidate that uses foul language when he is challenged about the tweeting of that cartoon. I don't believe that that's behaviour befitting a parliamentary candidate standing for any political party, and that's, that's the stance we've had from the beginning, and that's the stance we'll take through to our meetings with the Liberal Democrats tomorrow, and, and the campaign goes on uh, as we move forward. And if you don't get satisfaction, will you leave the Liberal Democrats? Well, I'm, I'm not going to, uh, you know... Pre-judge uh, what uh, discussions we have tomorrow. In the end, it's about being responsible uh, and articulating the 20,000 Muslims who, who are concerned by this. They're offended by this, uh, and, and, and you know we 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 want to make our representations right. through the democratic process in a peaceful way. And let's just clarify a brief final question: Do you condemn utterly any attempted violence against uh, Mr. Nawaz? I, I, I don't see the logic of you asking that question again. I've just, I've just answered that question. I've, without any reservation, I condemn any violence directed towards Majid Nawaz or anybody else. And I hope those people who are asking me to condemn the violence against Majid Nawaz condemn the violence against me uh, uh, what, that I've received over the past few days as well. And finally, what do you want to say to Nick Clegg tomorrow if he's prepared to listen to you on this thing? Well, whoever we speak to tomorrow, I, I will be saying that Muslims are offended by that cartoon and we hope that, moving forward, that the Liberal Democrats recognise that the voice of Muslims can't be ignored. Mohammed Shafiq, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Manchester.